Hello, my name is David Miller, and I'm from the Center for Open Science, and this is a short explainer about the top guidelines and top factor. The Transparency and Openness Promotion Guidelines include eight modular standards that journals or funders can apply to increase the openness and reproducibility of scientific research. First one includes data citation recommendations. Second, third, and fourth are transparency guidelines for data, materials, and analytical co-transparency. They then include guidelines for design and analysis transparency through use of reporting guidelines and checklists. It includes recommendations for how to incentivize pre-registration with or without analysis plans. And finally, it includes recommendations for um, how to publish or uh, support replication research studies. Each of the eight levels of the top eight standards of the top guidelines can be applied in three levels of increasing rigor. It starts out with not compliant policies that generally uh, represent the status quo. The first compliant level of the top guidelines is a disclosure requirement. Articles must state whether or not a practice occurred, for example. Level two, the mandate to for the transparency with exceptions permitted. And level three, is a verification step that the transparency uh, practice was taken as, as specified. Let me give a couple of examples and show some kind of examples to those. The open data policy, of course, starts out with policies that are not compliant with the top guidelines. Data sharing is merely encouraged, if mentioned at all. And we know that these are not too effective at seeing the type of open sharing that we want to encourage. Level one, the first level that is compliant, the top guidelines, the article must state whether or not the data are available. This can include the use of data availability statements, for example. Level two, the data must be posted to a trusted repository and there are exceptions permitted, permitted for legal and ethical constraints. Level three, data must be posted to that trusted repository and results must be independently verified prior to publication. This is called computational reproducibility. I'm going to give an example of the pre-registration standard, uh, which flips up the order a little bit, so pay attention here. For pre-registration, level zero, of course, not compliant with the top guidelines. The practice is not mentioned in the grantee or author guidelines. Level one, the article states whether or not the work was pre-registered, and if it does, a link is included in the article. Level two, if the work was pre-registered, the journal or reviewers verify that the plan was transparently reported. Deviations that occurred or changes in outcomes were transparently disclosed and reported as such. And then level three, inferential studies must be pre-registered. So the top guidelines provide uh, recommendations for how to proceed. Top factor is an evaluation of those posted uh, author guidelines. Top factor was created because we know that there is an over-reliance on a single factor that measures uh, novelty or uh, excitedness and citation rates, but that comes at the expense of rigor and credibility. Top factor is a transparent evaluation of author guidelines. Data for each evaluation are publicly posted. It's based on practices that derive directly from scientific values. And finally, it points to an honest indicator of research quality, the degree to which the work was uh, transparently conducted and, and, and posted. Top factor evaluations are shared on this tabular interface at topfactor.org. Each of the eight standards are independently sortable and you, one can sort by journal, by discipline, by publisher, or by standard. Two additional factors are included in top factor evaluations the degree to which publication bias is taken into account or ameliorated through use of practices such as registered reports, and whether or not open practices are signaled through uses of badges or other visual indicators to show that, uh, that these best practices are being followed. Uh, learn more and, and find your journal at topfactor.org. Finally, take a look at the uh, website where more information is available for funders and for publishers and editors on how to implement the top guidelines, how to contact us if you'd like to implement or submit your journal for evaluation for top factor, and lists of journals that, that use these guidelines for their author reporting purposes. Thank you so much. Take care.